So I just saw like 19 Eagle Rays. This is in Guancaste, Costa Rica, Playa de Conchal. Check it out. My friend Ben and I drove so that we would be adjacent to a ridge extending out into the water. At natural barriers like this one, the tiny zooplankton and phytoplankton, or itty bitty organisms, build up, which in turn attracts fishes and other creatures that consume them, which in turn attracts larger predatory fishes like sharks and rays. And those are the creatures that I wish to see. Visibility was poor, mainly a result of the sediment kicking up from that surf breaking on the plentiful rocks. On the first outing, I was hardly seeing anything. That was until I found a large stingray lounging in the benthic. The current was strong, and stabilizing the shot was ill accomplished. In these Pacific waters, the long-tailed stingray is often confused as the southern stingray, which inhabits the other side of Costa Rica in Atlantic and Caribbean waters. I kept on, edging the breaking waves, trying to avoid getting pulled into the rocks by the strong currents, when suddenly, I startled the stingray, who in turn surprised me. The tail, which contains a venomous spine, almost whacked me as it scurried under me. In moments, I looked up to see three white-spotted Pacific Eagle Rays, just gracefully gliding on the merry way. Their peaceful gliding matched that of their beauty. And they were deceptively fast, disappearing as quickly as they arrived. Seconds later, I would be pleasantly greeted by another species of ray. A Pacific tube ray swam right beneath me, saying a quick hello as it passed by. In less than one minute, three species of large rays had blessed me with introductions. Magnificent. The sun was setting, I had one last chance to get back into the water. Little did I know what awaited me on the second outing. Very soon I was surrounded by a massive school of green jacks. Hundreds of them encircled me. This is a common species in these waters, venturing in both demersal and pelagic waters and an important commercial fish. They soon dispersed into the clouded water. I was distracted by something in the benthic until something marvelous caught my eye. A large aggregation of white spotted Pacific eagle rays. There were even a handful of eagle rays behind me, once again having me encircled in fish. I approximated 19 to 20 rays around me, possibly more just out of visibility. I had never heard of an aggregation so large before. Although this species does have venomous barbs in the tail, they are gentle and shy, avoiding close human contact. I did not feel threatened. I felt lucky. I really was in awe. Recent genetic evidence has suggested that this species is unique and separate from Atobatus narinari, the Atlantic species of spotted eagle ray, or Atobatus laticeps is the new suggested scientific name. Swimming with these creatures, sharing their waters, these aquatic moments were my favorite on Costa Rica. When I returned to shore, I could not hide my joy. It was a wonderful experience. The Costa Rica series is coming to an end, but have no fear, there will be plenty more nature adventures coming up. So stay tuned, new videos every Wednesday. Keep loving the beautiful chaos of nature. Mmm, rico.